Blue bitch, I'm not that I got off a BB. They pay me a 20, I sell them a 13. Remember when both of my pockets were hurting. So we're going to start our base today, and I've already washed and cleaned my skin, and I moisturized with my Dove Intensive Cream. It is so bomb, y'all. It's a little thick, but I concentrated this around the areas where I get dry. For me, it's here, across my eyebrows, and around my mouth. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I want to lock in this moisture. And I've been using this new oil. It's by Black Radiance. It's the Pour It On Beauty Oil. And what I do for this is, once again, I'm dry in certain areas. And this will, once you put on your moisturizer, it'll lock in your moisture. So it'll keep my areas that I get dry moist. So I like to take this and just drop a drop here, a drop there, a drop here. And a little bit on my chin you just want to rub that in right quick and it gives your skin this good feeling y'all i know i'm shining looking like a glazed donut but y'all it's worth it it's gonna make your skin look so bomb when you get ready to put that product on there and just rub it all in it feels so good and remember when you're rubbing in your product you don't want to rub it down you want to go away so you can pull that Snatch that face back and keep looking young. Can y'all believe I'm about to be 42? Where? I know, I know I don't look 42. But you got to take care of your skin. I still got edges and everything, y'all. I know, right? Ain't nobody snatched me bald yet with all this mouth I got. <coughs> I wish they would. Chad, bye. Anywho, once we got our moisture locked in, now we have to prime. And in the words of Nikki Tutorials, not to prime is a crime. Same thing. She uses it that term for your eyes, but I say for your whole face. You got to prime it up. And so today's primer, I am going to be using the Becca primer. It's the radiant one. And once again, I'm I'm real big about dabbing stuff on my right on my face, y'all. And I put a whole big dab on my forehead. So I'm just move some of that around. And you concentrated where you want your makeup to sit the most. To stay. And you wanna. And I know we gotta be conscious of our hands all over our face. So I make sure your hands are clean when you're doing this. Because you do not want to rub any bacterials all over your face. So I got my primer on. And it gives you this little tacky feeling. Makes me feel like it's just gonna grab my makeup and hold on to it for dear life. So now that I got my makeup primer on, now I'm gonna see what foundation I'm gonna use. Today, I'm gonna probably pull out some old school on y'all. I'm gonna hit y'all with the MAC. And I wear the shade NC45. This is the Studio Fix Fluid. And as y'all probably heard me say a couple of times, I fluctuate with how I like to apply my makeup, but I just got these James Charles brushes and this Morphe brush is so bomb. This foundation brush from Morphe, it is the Morphe M439. And it's this foundation brush, it's kind of dense. And I like to take and put my foundation on the back of my hand first. It act like it don't want to come out for me tonight. So once I got it on there, and then I just dab it on my face with my fingers. Oh, I'm looking a little red around my nose, y'all. I might have to put a little color. We'll see. So once you get all your little foundation dabbed on, then take the brush and rub the extra off. And then you just take the brush and just pounce it on now. And you want to make sure you get everything. Get up into that hairline so you don't have no line that shows where your foundation starts and your skin starts. Because it'll be looking crazy when you get that little line that go around here and it look crazy. Like you ain't putting no makeup or your stuff don't match. Ain't nobody got time for that. But you... I love the way this brush applies, y'all. And if y'all notice, I like the foundation in my lips, too. 
I think that helps my lipstick. I got the little jiggly look. <laughs> you gotta make sure you get it down your neck. Get those ears so they don't be looking the wrong color. And I like to get my lips because I think it makes my lipstick stay. It's like a lip primer, per se. And just a step I don't skip. When I got my face blended in just right. Y'all see how that look? That's getting glowing. Okay, so now that I got my foundation on, put that away. Now I wanna use my highlighter, my contour or highlighter concealer, but I like to use, I'm still in love with the Boeing by Benefit. I got two colors of this. And once again, I never know which one is which until I'm applying it. And I always end up having to swatch it on my hand to see which is which. I use both of them, but I use them in a specific order. So this is the Boeing Cakeless, found, Cakeless Concealer. And yeah, this is the lightest one. So what I like to do is take this lightest one and right up under my eye right there on both sides. A little bit down my nose, a little bit on that forehead right there. And right here where I thought I was looking a little red at y'all. I pick a little bit and put it right there where I thought I was looking a little red at. And don't forget your chin and the tip of your nose. That's the lighter one. And then I take the one that's like right at my skin tone and I just add a little bit of that at the bottom of where I put these at. So put it right there, put a little bit right there, a little bit right there. All right, so while I got that on, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. And Morphe also has a smaller version of this brush. This brush is the Morphe M173. And it's the smaller version of the big foundation brush. And I'm loving it right now for my contour. So what I wanna do is wait a minute and let this sit a little bit, let it bake, let it cook, and then I'm gonna blend it out. So I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. And while that's sitting out, I'm going to pull out my contour and my contour color is um, truffle in the Fenty stick. So what I do is I take that and I do this right here, just a little bit and I do the same thing on that side, just a little bit. And my forehead is big. I like my big forehead because it means I got a big brain. But I like to contour my little forehead just a touch. And sometimes I be trying to make my little chin look a little, not that I got a big chin, but my face be looking a little fat sometimes. So I get that chin line. And I also like to hit that with some setting spray. And my favorite one right now, of course, is always gonna be the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. And so I just hit that a little bit. And so what I'm gonna do is take that brush and first, no, I'm not gonna take this brush. I'm gonna take a sponge, I apologize. Take a sponge and spray my Fix Fluid on there. And I'm gonna blend out this contour. And you wanna pounce that out like that. Y'all see how that's looking? It's blending out. It's making my cheekbone look a little more defined. And you want to do the same thing on the other side. Spray your sponge again. And blend out where you put the dark stuff at. And you want to kind of blend it up. You don't want to take it down. You kind of want to push up like this. You see in my motion, I'm going up like this. And you want to get around that forehead too where you put the dark color. Same thing on this side. 
Don't forget where you put the darkness that under your chin down there. Y'all forget it. And so now I got that blended out. Now I'm going to take that smaller brush that was like the foundation brush. And I'm going to blend out my forehead, my little lines, my nose, and my chin first. So now we're going to start with that forehead. And we're going to blend that out with this brush. Oh, I just love the way it blends out. Look at that, y'all. Forehead looking cute. I know I got a big one. But I bet you I ain't stupid, though. Hmm. Blend down that nose with that same sponge. You see that? Take that tip off. Now you get these sides right here. And I always do them from, like, the corner of my nose down. And when you bring this down, it's going to connect and bring all that up to feel that. My nose went not blend it up on that side, y'all. Mm -hmm. So I had a pretty productive weekend. I went to Georgia to visit my mother. If you don't know, I live in North Carolina. Visit my mom and we had a good time. My son and my daughter went. I'm going to have to do a video with my mini-me, y'all. She is too, too much. She's seven, going on 70. Uh, and she got a personality of her own. I'm going to finish blending this out. Give me a second. Just finish blending this eye out. And you got to remember, I like to make my face look pull it back. So I pull it, the contour up side of my face and I make sure I get my inner contour long side of my nose back down to where I had that line you just blend it out and I like to look dead in the mirror while I'm doing it so I can make sure what I'm looking like and my mirror allows for me to change the lighting so I adjust the lighting I drop the lighting just to see what the makeup is looking like in all lighting This light is so bright, my family calls it the light of God, y'all. Really, that's how bright it is. Okay, so now that I got that all blended out, you see, I want to set it so it don't go nowhere. Now, I use a sponge to set, and I also use a pressed powder to set. And the pressed powder I am using is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Pressed Powder in the shade 130. And what I do is, this Fenty sponge, y'all, is so perfect for right here, look. Look how small and perfect that is. So what I do is, I tap it with a little bit of spray, and then I just really switch it around in this sponge, in the powder. I just really pack it in there. And then I just take and pack it under my eye. And you want to press it. You don't want to. So traditionally, people bathe. That's when they put the whole bunch of it on their face and you can see it. I don't bake. I press my stuff in there and get to the point. So anywhere you put that light color, you want to press this powder. Especially on this five head right here, y'all. Because that thing is shining. I know y'all see that forehead. Why y'all ain't tell me my forehead was shining like that? Hmm. So you want to press the powder on there. But I'm going to powder the rest of my face. So I'm going to get it together, y'all. Make sure you get this chin where you put some powder. Where that light color is. Mm. Look how flawless that looks. I almost went to bed on y'all. I was like, I was supposed to do a video. I'm about to go to bed. My son saved y'all. 
He did. So I got the light part set. Now I need a powder that's the same color as my skin. And again, I am using Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder, Matte and Poreless. And this one is in the shade 330. This is the shade of my actual skin. And if I was using Maybelline, this would be the shade of the foundation I would use, 330. Um, so for this one, I don't press the powder in. I kind of loosely set it and I use a big old fluffy brush. So you kind of just dust it up in there. Cause I gotta put more powder in in my dark areas, but I'm kind of just sitting this part where the dark colors, where my skin color was. So you kind of just want to beat that in everywhere else where you didn't put the light powder in. This is just setting your skin. And if I might have put a little bit too much powder right here, I use the same brush to dust off the little extra I might have put under my eye on my forehead or something. And so now my shine is gone because that thing was glowing. I could have, y'all could have read y'all future in my forehead. Okay, so now that I got my face set, the next thing I want to do is I want to reinforce my contour, which is this dark color. And I've been using for that, I've been using Fenty. Sun Starker Bronzer in the shade Banjan Girl. It looks like this. It's a brown. And so I want to get my contour brush. There's a blush brush. Don't tell nobody. Okay, this is my contour brush. And what I do is I, I'm good for petting. I don't like to swirl. I pet, beat off the extra, and I I make the funny face, y'all. So I like the fish face. And anywhere where it pokes up, I just kind of press this powder up in it. So watch. And around my edges where I put that dark, where I put the dark um contour, I put it around there. You want to fish face again. You want to fish face again for the other side. Y'all, I ordered some new um, blushes from Juvia's Place. I can't wait. I got the new blush palettes coming. I'm so excited. Well, they not new. They new to me. I've been eyeballing them. Or I hunching them. I be looking at them. Put them in my cart. I take them out. I finally pulled the trigger. Pow, pow. Got them. They coming. I'm going to be all blushed up then. And so I also take this little brush that came in the um, James Charles um, brush set. Y'all, this is perfect for the nose contour look. Look at the angle on it. So I also dip that into the Banjan Girl. And I reinforce my nose contour with it. So I start at my eyebrow and I put that down the side of my nose like that. And I buff it out with the same brush. And I don't put a lot because my nose is not, not big, but I have to do a little extra. I be being extra. Dot com, dot gov. I am a Leo, you know. So. So I do the same thing on that side. And you just want to reinforce it the shadows to make your nose look smaller than it is make it look like it's pink so tight you can't breathe one of those mm -hmm. i be on facebook y'all i be looking at funny stuff and i know y'all seen this comedian darren fleet he is so funny he always say the word behoove and so he was posting about how um chick-fil-a had put a sign up about it would behoove, would behoove you to eat more chicken. And he was like, that it was going to behoove them to cut his check. Because that's his term. He always says it behoove. What behoove me was. But I hope he get his coins because he do say that. Whenever I hear that phrase, I think of him. Behoove me. So I got this blended out. And I always cut my nose off right there. I don't know why. Go across right there. 
and fix it up like that. Okay, and if you think you did too much with your um, contour, you can always take your foundation brush and soften it. See? Okay, so now I got my contour on. I got my nose done up. Now I need some color on my cheeks. So I think the color I want to use on my cheeks today, do I want to be extra or light? Do I want to be... There with it with Juvia's plays. Let's be a little demure today. Let's pretend like we soft. <laughs> Let's pretend like we soft and fluffy. We so soft and fluffy girl. So I'm gonna take this one, and this is just a Luxie brush, and I just tap in. And this is one of them days where you can decide your blush place, your blush placement. I'm good for placing it right here usually, but today I'm going to take it back here a little bit and blush from the temple and bring it in just a touch, just a little bit right there. And you just want to place it. So with makeup, it's no right and wrong rules. You like what you like. And... My whole attitude is, if you don't like it, I don't care. I didn't fleek my eyes for you. I didn't put this purple on for you. Guess what? <laughs> I put this purple on because I like purple. I fleeked this eyebrow because I wanted to fleek my eyebrows. I mean, of course, I want my boo to be like, ooh, baby, you look good. But at the end of the day, I want to be cute because I want to be cute. I'm just saying. So now I got my little blushies on. Need to hit my nose off. I didn't put none right there. I, I, I'm light skinned and I naturally blush right here, y'all. So I always just put some right there. And sometimes I blush around my temples just a touch. It's just up to you. Like I said, there's no rules to makeup. You can do what you want to do. So now I got my blush on. It's time to highlight. Oh, let's use this Too Faced Diamond Highlighter. Look at this. I just like how pretty it looks. Will you marry my face makeup? Yes, you shall. So, I'm going to get another blush brush. And I'm going to use this beautiful blush brush. And I'm just going to get in there. Get in there with this highlighter. And, ooh, look, y'all. Mm. It's not stupid strong, but you see it when I catch the look. You see it? You see it catching you all up in there? And I always hit it up around. I hit the little C right here. Let me give you something for the upside. Ooh, girl. They see me shining. They hating. Is you mad? Is you real mad? You might be. And I always make sure I hit my nose with my contour. Yeah, I'm trying to stay off that that uh, trophy wipe so much. I use that so much. And I got so many other ones. I need to use them. So I hit my little forehead highlight off. get that highlight on my nose like I like it with this brush so I gotta use my finger y'all there's something about putting my highlight on with my finger on my nose I can't I can't call it it always works bomb when I do it like that and make sure you hit your cupid bow too because when you put your lipstick on it make that lip look like wow it look crazy before you put a lipstick on though But see, my lip line is strong, so I always make sure I hit that off. Okay, I think I got my glow down like I like it. I 
And just make sure you... I might want to touch that blush up a little bit more. See, I picked that blush. For me, it's about going back and forth. I go back and forth. I take this brush. I put it down. Pick up another brush. Do something. Pick that brush back up. Hit it again. And then I like to do this thing called melting my makeup. So once I got all my powders on, that's everything that's powder. I come and hit it. With that spray and then it melts all the powders down to your face how you looking like yes so for today's eye look i am going to be using the meat lovers pizza slice by glam light here's what the shades look like so let's get it cracking so the first color I'm going to use on my eye is the shade Crushed Red Pepper. It is this one. And I'm taking it on a dense packing brush. Oop, I forgot. I need to prime my eyelid for this color. So what I want to do is I'm going to take a concealer. And I'm just going to dab on a few dots of it across my eyelid. So I got that dabbed in, and I'm gonna take that same concealer brush that I blended my eyelids, my concealer right on my face, and just blush that in. Dab that all in, y'all. Blend it out. I'm gonna dab that in with that same concealer brush. And this just gives you a blank canvas that's the same color across the board for your eyeshadow to stick to. And you can do two things. You can set this with a powder once you blended it out. Or you can put your, your eyeshadow right on top of it, tacky, and it'll stay. I like to set mine with a powder. It's up to you. So now that I got both of them blended out and my eyes are both primed. I want to take a, that same sponge that I set. It still should have powder on it. And just press it into your eyelid. And it's going to set that powder. I ain't need to add no more powder. Because it was still powder on it. So when I rubbed it in my compact. So I set that. Okay. Now I'm going to take this packing brush. And I'm going to dip into crushed red pepper. Pack off the extra. And what I want to do is cover my whole eyelid, the whole bottom part of my eyelid with this. And so you want to just pack it in. Ooh, y'all see that? Oh, that color's so pretty. So I'm going to pack it in across the whole bottom of my eyelid. And y'all can do two things. So I like to cheat sometimes so I can get a certain shape on my eye. And I like to take tape. I don't know what I did with my tape, y'all. Give me one second. Ha, I found it. Take some tape. And I like to go cheat. And so what I like to do is take the tape and I just place it in the corner of my eye. Just like that. And get it as close to your eye as you like. And do it on both sides. That way you can get consistency. And this, when I pull this off, that line going to be so sharp for that um, eyeshadow look. Oh, no, that ain't going to work. Okay, see, I got it on now. That one ain't right. See, that's the thing. You got to be consistent with that shape. That one's perfect. See that angle? That one too straight. Fix it. Okay, that's better. So you get your line. Now, what was I doing? I was packing this color on. So it was crushed red pepper. I got it in. And now that I got my tape on, I just close my eye and pack it up to the tape. Across my eyelid. And I get it. 
in there and I got a little hooded eyelid so I got a crease right here and I know how far up to go and I can kind of windshield wiper it in just put it in that crease and windshield wiper it in and then you can pack the rest with the brush and I always put some kind of shimmery color at the front that's just my thing so you want to pack those colors in. Oh, that's so pretty. And you want to close your eye. You want to open your eye and see how it looks. Close it and look. Open your eye and look. And you want to do the same thing on the other side. You want to angle your head back and look and see how it all looks in all directions. And if you're happy the way it looks, then... <laughs> Once again, it don't matter what nobody else say. And once again, y'all, I got that natural crease. So I just windshield wiper it in and then pack the color in. After I windshield wiper it in. So you pack that color on. Up to that windshield. That's your crease color. And you can pack it in really good. Bounce it in. Same thing on the other side. Make sure you pack them in. And when you got your color as deep as you want to. So now that I got both of my colors on right there, put this down to the side. And I'm going to pick another color. And I think I'm going to buff this out with this other color, which is called yeah, I can, Canadian Bacon, which is like this pinky, this pinky color right here. And what you do is you take a fluffier brush and you swirl that around in there. Now, this brush is clean, but it was um, stained from using red shadows. So you kind of buff that in, beat, beat off your extra. And then you and you kind of look at and you want to put it on the edge at the top of where you put this at to blend them two together. You just kind of want to buff that in like that. Get you a little bit more of that Canadian bacon. You want to buff them colors out. Yeah, I'm working on learning how to do these um, cut creases. Yeah, that thing look hard, y'all. Help me. And the same thing on the other side. You want to kind of just buff that out on the edge of that other color. And I like to use a little circle of motions, too. And we touch our face so many times a day. So once again, make sure your hands are clean if you're going to be touching your face. During these times, we should be washing our hands a lot. A lot. And then you want to buff those in. Those colors in right there. That's Canadian bacon that I'm buffing in on the edge of this crushed red pepper. And once again, you wanna hold your head back and look. Get your crease off. You wanna hold your head back and look and buff in circles. So I got those two colors on. Now, I'm going to be extra and add one more color. There's a little golden color right here, and it's called chicken. Like a bronzy gold color. It's right here. I want to take a, just like a little flathead brush and add just a touch of that right on my brow bone to give me a little glimmer. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to touch that right here on my brow bone just to add in a little glimmer right there. I was feeling a little dark in that area. See that little shimmer I put in there? Just get the little shimmers in there. So 
Same thing on the other side, just to lighten up that brow bone because I was feeling a little dark. Oh, that thing was strong right there. Hold on, y'all. And, uh, if you make a mistake, don't worry. You can always take your other brush and fix it. Add some color, fix it. Y'all, the best makeup looks I've ever had have been happy mistakes. Like, oh, shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, but dang, that's kind of fire. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I like that after the fact. I ain't mean to do that, but okay. And so once I darken in my eyebrows, that's going to be all right. So now I got my highlighter going on up there. And so, y'all, I still need something popping for this inner corner. I can use that same goldie color. Let's see if it pop. Or, nope, we're going to use pepperoni for the inside of the eye. Hold on. Let me clean this brush. Okay, the pepperoni, this color right here is like a burning orange. Oh, let me make sure y'all can see. Chad. Pepperoni is like this burning orange. And so what I'm going to do is dab this brush right in that pepperoni. And I'm going to put that on the inner corner. Oh, yeah. That's bright and fire orange. That's fire orange, y'all. That's like on fire. Yeah, I need to watch out with that one that orange is not playing y'all like it's that serious I'm just doggone uh, making sure I don't put this in the wrong place because this orange is doing the most. You got to make sure you blend it out so you don't have no harsh lines, honey. Because you can't have me out here looking crazy. Who does that? And then I also took it up just a touch because it was so bold that I didn't want it to look so stark coming out of nowhere. So I blended it up into my crease. If you know what I mean, I'm, I'm blending it up into my crease line. For my bottom lash, y'all, I was going to do this purple color. And I still think I am. This purple color is in the shade Red Onions. It's this one. And I'm going to dip into red onion. And I'm going to hit my bottom line with my bottom lash line with that. And so look, what I can do now is take off my tape. And look at them lines on the side. Perfect. And so what I do is I take this purple crushed onions. And I come from the bottom of that. Red onions. And you can kind of, I'm good for adding an extra thing. So I take and make my own little wing with this purple. And I take that along the bottom of my lash line. Just to give it some color down there. And I run that right into that um, pepperoni. Same thing on the other side. You run that right into that pepperoni. Just to get that color right and tight. Mm. How y'all feel about school starting to open back up? I know here in North Carolina, they talking about our kids are going to go for two weeks in school and then be homeschooled. 
I don't know about y'all, but my kids ain't going to school because I can't trust other people's kids to wear theirs mask. And how you know how kids are? Uh, you got it. Uh, you got it. No, mm -mm. you don't got it. Cause you're not going. They'll be in the window waving at the kids going to school. Bye, y'all. I see y'all. No, you won't. So now I got that purple at the bottom. And that's pretty good. So I think my eye look is pretty good now. Oh, I forgot something, you guys. I didn't do the little wing on the side with the purple. Y'all was going to have me out here looking cray. So it match. Mm. Okay, so now I got both my eyes on and I'm gonna do some finishing touches and I'll be right back. I'm back and here's the finished look. So I finished up my lips by using Dose of Color on my lips. Y'all, I'm blind, so I really can't see the shade. It's Dose of Colors in this shade. And I also finished up my eyelashes by using um, Better Than Sex Mascara. And here we have it. I'm so glad you stayed around this long. Thank you so much for staying to see this look. And I'll see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Bye. Go! Blue bitch, I'm not that I got off a BB. Huh? They pay me a 20 and serve them a 13. Remember when both of my pockets were hurting? Now my Z is balling my nigga like worthy. BB's are BB. Remember when both of my pockets were hurting? I was raised up off a of stunner.